Hi everybody, thanks for uh, joining me again for another um, time of reflection on God's Word. We're looking through the letter, Paul's letter of Ephesians, we're up to chapter 4, we're a good way through chapter 4, so uh, let me read from verse 17. So I tell you this, Paul says, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding, separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Now, obviously, the, the term Gentiles here is not uh, referring to um, non-Jews, uh, all of us, uh, but is referring to those who have uh, not accepted the teachings of Jesus uh, that were first available to the Jewish nation, but then broadened to a wider public. Um, but what Paul is saying is very clear to those who have not accepted Jesus as Lord, no longer are we to live in the futility of their thinking. We all like to think we're bright, don't we? We all like to think we, we've got some wisdom, some innate ability to think things through and uh, believe what is good and right. But actually what Paul is saying here is that that's not true. And uh, I think if we look around society today, we can see the futility of much thinking and indeed teaching. Uh, we can see how people will try and uh, um, promote a particular way of thought or uh, an ideology and um, expect others to adopt it, sometimes with some success. Uh, but that shows how futile, or in, in many uh, instances, showing how futile it is to try and kind of create an ideology that is removed from a loving creator God. Well, if we're trying to live the Jesus way, that's not for us. And that's what Paul is saying here. Um, because such futile thinking um, separates us from the life of God. And uh, it promotes the ignorance that is within us because we are determined that we can do, do this life our own way and not God's way. That, what Paul is saying here, is a foolish way of understanding. And as Jesus' people, we're to adopt a very different approach that we'll go on to in a few days' time. But for now, let's just remind ourselves that straying away um, and uh, moving a determinedly, minutely, determinedly away from uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is a futile and ignorant thing to do according to God's word. So let's dwell on that. Let's uh, reflect on that during the day. But right now, let's pray for success in um, combating that. Father, thank you for your teaching, the quality, the truth of your teaching. Thank you that we can base our lives upon your solid ground. Help us to do so and to uh, ignore and dispel any futile thinking that it feels attractive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless you. Uh, it's a bit windy out here. I hope uh, that hasn't interfered too much with the sound quality, but uh, we'll persevere. Uh, but God bless you. Have a good day today. Take care.